Well, well, well. Well, well, this is our brother Wes. Hello, hello. Been on here in a while. I just want to greet you. And I just wanted to um, have a few words, a few words um, for this Mother's Day. I wanted to wish all the mothers, all the mothers out there, all the mothers, I want to wish all the mothers happy Mother's Day. And um, I will say this, uh, uh, a mother is very important. A mother is so valuable. And I can tell you about a mother because, you know, I'm a mama's boy. And I love my mom, and I, I'm the youngest of seven. And so I understand that. And I, one of the things that God has taught me and is yet teaching me about mothers is that over the past year, um, I've been a stay home at, a stay home dad. And what it's taught me, it's really taught me the mindset, and it's really taught me how a mother feels and what a mother goes through. And so, and what it also does, it also makes me appreciate mothers even more, even more. And and so I'm grateful. I'm grateful for every mother. I'm grateful for every mother because a mother is someone who nurtures, who someone who who teaches, someone who teaches love, teaches patience, teaches all kind of stuff. And so I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. And one of the things that I'm grateful for also is that God has put me in a position to be able to, as a dad, from being at home, to be able to shape my daughter's minds to be able to shape their minds, to be able to teach them, to be able to listen to them, to be able to understand them, to be able to hear what they're saying, to, to see what they're doing. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for God put me in a position to be able to be there, to be a voice, um, to be able to shape my my girls, me and my wife. And so I'm grateful, even though, even though, I, even though I'm not at work, even though I'm not at work, this job is even greater. This job is even greater. Good morning, my brother. This job is even greater to raise kids. And I'm 54 and, and not feeble, not feeble, but strong. Got, got his blood running, warming my, warming my body through my veins. And so I'm grateful to the fact that God has blessed me and gave me strength to be able to be there for my girls. And so, and so in saying that again, I want to say, Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. In particular, in particular, I want to say happy Mother's Day to my beautiful and lovely wife. And and uh, what it does also with working from home and, and being at home, it make me even appreciate my wife and what she goes through and what she feels even more. And also God teaches me, even by being a father and being at home, God teaches me. He's teaching me patience. He's teaching me even more grace. He's teaching me even even more wisdom, and see, cause see what God has done. God has uh, put me in a place where I'm I'm I'm, I'm house God. I'm God in the house. I'm God in the house. I'm watching the house, and so and so and, and I'm a watchman. And so God has put me in a position to be able to rest. It feels like I'm in a cave, but at the same time while I'm resting, I'm watching. And it, cause He tells us to watch as well as pray. And so while I'm praying, I'm watching. While I'm praying, I'm encouraging my daughters. While I'm praying, I'm listening to them. And so again, 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 mothers, happy Mother's Day. God bless you.